Greetings friends, Chaos here. Long time no see. A lot has been going on in my life over the past couple of months, and I promised people that I would tell you all what's been going on, so here we are. If you keep up with my updates on Twitter or in the community tab here on YouTube, you may already know the gist of it. But my hiatus started off with my downstairs neighbors getting a new surround sound system in their apartment and blasting music so loud that not only my floors would vibrate, but it was impossible to record or stream as the music would easily be picked up by my microphone. This continued on through most hours of the day, making it impossible to work. I did get some recording done for TerraCore, but not enough for a full video, and I'm not quite sure what to do with that. We'll talk about that in the coming days. For weeks, I and other surrounding neighbors tried to get them to stop, but they never answered the door, so we went to the apartment management and eventually to the city. Ironically, none of our efforts are what got them to stop, but ultimately one of them got arrested due to something completely unrelated, and that's what finally ended the loud streak. It's been fairly quiet ever since. But right as I was about to start recording and streaming again, life threw me two more curveballs. One of my grandfathers had a stroke and ended up in the hospital in critical condition. This stirred up a lot of family issues and I had to be there for my parents as well as help out in any way I could so that they could rush off to Texas. Then, while all of that was going on, another one of my grandpas ended up in the emergency room due to what was thought to have been a stroke, but it turns out it wasn't. They're still not sure what's going on, and they're currently testing him to find out what happened. He is back home, and he's stable. But ultimately, a few weeks ago, the grandfather who had a stroke passed away. I ended up taking some time to myself to self-reflect on that and to be there for my father who was hit particularly hard by this. My grandfather's death hit me in a way that I wasn't expecting. I hardly had a relationship with him since I was a kid. Things were strained between us mainly because of how the woman that he remarried treated my brother and me when we were children and his allowing of her behavior towards us. She was not at all a nice person. But when my grandfather passed, I realized that my time to make amends with him and to reconnect had permanently gone. And this affected me deeply, filling me with regret. I ended up dwelling on that a little too much over the past few weeks, until I got a message from Relogic with the tragic news that their QA head, Lineforce, had passed away last Tuesday. This came completely out of nowhere and shocked me right out of the mental rut that I was in. I can't say that Lineforce was a close friend, as I had just started to get to know him since the Labor of Love update, but we had been talking quite a bit since then, and I wish I could have continued to get to know him more. But he was a very hardworking and passionate man, and just remembering that passion helped to bring me back to the here and now, rather than dwelling on what ifs and the past. So I want to talk about Line Forest a little bit, for those of you who might not have known much about him at all. He was the kind of person who would respond to you as soon as possible, never making you wait. It always felt like he was willing to drop whatever he was doing to help somebody out. Line Forest was the same age that I am, and he was already working his dream job at Relogic on his passion Terraria. He worked his way all the way up to head QA and was even helping out with some of the programming aspects of the game. Lineforce had boundless ideas for the game and personally I think he was one of the biggest driving factors as to why we keep getting so many final final updates. He was also a huge ally to the building community. The Labor of Love update is largely seen as a very builder-friendly update, and from personal experience, that was in no small part due to Line 4's ideas and suggestions. He told me how his most proud accomplishment while working on Terraria had been a suggestion that he fought tooth and nail to get in for the building community, one that I personally think may have been the biggest building addition since Paints and Slopes, the Rebel Maker. 
This beauty was the brainchild of Line Force and truly was a labor of love and effort on his own part. Not only that, but the item introduced new right click mechanics, which gave us wonderful things like the shell phone or the toggable void bag and encumbering stones. Line Force even pushed for simple block additions like the variants of Luminite Brick and the Ancient Bricks. So he was a huge fan of the building community, and I think we owe a lot to him for it. His passing is a big loss for us, and the Terraria community as a whole, but I don't think he would want us to spend our time being sad about his absence, but rather to inspire us to be as passionate and hardworking as he was, and to continue on this wonderful community on his behalf. His last tweet to us was, Hey everyone just a reminder to be nice to each other. That is the kind of person Line Force was, and I'm going to try and make him proud by living up to that myself. I'm so sorry for the prolonged absence in my own community. I have missed you all dearly, and I'm glad to finally be in the right headspace to get back to what I love. Thank you all very much for your patience and support, and I'll be streaming over the next two days if you'd like to catch up live, and I'll be sharing a video and stream schedule next week so you guys know what to expect next month. Thank you all, and thank you Line Fours. You will be missed, but we'll do you proud. Rest easy, friend.